So moving on to our next story. By the time this video is out, I think the DLC will be out because I know it says 228, but I don't know if this video is coming out on the 28th or the 29th. The point is, is that uh, if you're watching this live, hi, we're talking about Tekken 7 getting Julia and Negan. Oh, damn, guys. Okay, so I did not expect... Uh, even though I should have expected weird characters to come out of Tekken because usually any fighting game has some type of quote-unquote weird character to come into it. Uh, of course, Smash, we currently have Piranha Plant. We're looking at older games. You had uh, Link in Soul Calibur, at least the GameCube version. And then you had Heihachi in the PS2 version, if I remember correctly. So there's always a chance to get a weird character in a fighting game. But uh, it's just to have Negan in this. Like, I don't know if you guys follow The Walking Dead everything about Negan, even the fact that I'm pretty sure they got Jeffrey Dean Morgan to voice him, the same way he plays a live-action version, as you can see right there, the fact that he is Negan in every way, and is, uh, has a, a love of Negan as well, you can definitely tell, you know, that in the voiceover work. So the fact that they seemingly got Jeffrey Dean Morgan back, uh, the fact that it seems like Harada is also a fan of, of Walking Dead, yes, this is a promotional opportunity, obviously, but, yeah, definitely a promotional opportunity, because, of course, you can see the fact that, um, you know, you can see the fact that uh, Walking Dead is plastered, not on this picture, but in every single promotional pic. So yes, it is a good payday for, uh, potentially for the Tekken franchise as well, but also, uh, I don't know how that actually works, because I know they have to pay The Walking Dead, but in The Walking Dead's image is everywhere, so I don't know who's getting paid what in that situation. But either way, though, super excited for Negan. Uh, I'm not the... It's funny. I've watched every season of The Walking Dead, but I can't call myself the biggest fan. I, I like the comics, but I can't call myself the biggest fan. But despite the fact that it's like, Matt, you watch The, the Walking Dead, don't you Don't you like it? I, I, I just want to see it end and where it ends. Uh, I love uh, the newest arc, you know, the comic book version of it, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about it now in movie form. I just... I don't know, guys. Like, I just... I'm super hyped uh, because I, I and, and I, I fucking hate it because now I need Tekken. And I looked on Amazon. It's actually 20 bucks. So, like, I'm going to have to bite that bullet and get Tekken. Like, I don't have the money for this right now. i got to save up for some Switch games that I talked about during our Nintendo Direct video. And now, all of a sudden, i got to fucking put money towards, uh, towards Tekken 7. Like, I'm kind of frustrated, especially because, you know, DLC is not going to be included in, um, in my freaking purchase of Tekken 7. So, like, I... I I don't want to do this, but like, not only is Negan there, but Julia is there. So I actually haven't kept up with uh, Tekken both tag tournament. I've never played any of the tag tournaments, and when it comes to uh, the Tekken normal, the, the the general franchise, the the considered canon franchise, um, I have the first ooh five games. I actually I can't can't look over to my shelf right now, but I know I have the first four. I'm gonna check if Tekken Five was released on the. Uh, Let's see if it was released on the um, PS, PS2. It was. Okay, then I have the first five Tekken games. I've played them, but I'm much more familiar with the first three. So I'm much more familiar with those uh, first three games than I am with uh, any of the newer ones. I gotta be real with you guys. I wanna get some of the newer ones, but I definitely wanna get Tekken 7 now, but... Still, I'm much more familiar with the first three. So seeing Julia come back, frankly, I never knew she left, but seeing Julia come back and also having her style changed, having her not be some caricature, I think it's just really nice, uh, especially because, yes, she was raised by... Um, I know she was... Oh, God, come on. Name. I I'm not going to look. I want to get the name. Uh, damn it. Jun. No, not Jun. What the fuck? No, she was raised by Michelle. Right. But she was her adopted daughter. So she's, I don't know, I just feel as if it's, like, she doesn't have to look this way just because she was raised in that area. She's not actually Native American from the looks of it. I mean, she's, well, it's interesting. She says she's an adopted daughter of a part Native American, part Chinese fighter, but that doesn't mean that she is technically either one of those things. So either Native American nor part Chinese, so she doesn't have to look that way. So the fact that she's coming back with a, a better, more realistic uh, redesign, she just looks like a normal human being, like a normal 22-year-old girl who wants to save the environment. So I love the fact that she, you know, she's back into the franchise and she also has this redesign. And also, her moves are on point. Like, I have not seen how Tekken 7 looks outside of these few trailers regarding Julia and Negan. God damn, she's on point. 
I mean, of course, Negan as well, too, with the bat and everything and the fact that he has to pray to it. Oh, God. Um, I do wonder how, you know, uh, how much of, uh, of the trailer was cinematics and stuff that we're not going to see in game versus how much was uh, we're going to see in game, at least when it you know comes to the fighting. But still, with both Julia and Negan, such an amazing addition to all of these newer uh, DLC characters that are out. I know Armor King is one of them. I just I, I cannot wait. And it infuriates me only because I don't have Tekken 7. So I got to go get that. Thankfully, I have a PS4. But now I got to get Tekken 7 because I, I want to play as Negan and Julia. This is this is terrible. This is a terrible, terrible thing. Damn you, Bondi Namco. Uh, it's just, ah, oh God, why? <sighs> so now I got to do this. So I want to hear, though, what you guys think down below. Do you, uh, are you huge fans of Negan? Are you uh, huge fans of Julia? Any of the other DLC characters that I didn't mention? Any of those, uh, you know, coming up, uh, making you interested, excited? I just, mm, I just want, I, I, damn it, I just, I can't be swayed. Can't be swayed to spend my money this way. I gotta, I gotta do other things with my money. But it's just, this game. Like this game, guys. So, uh, but again, tell me what you guys think down below. Um, does, if you w weren't keeping up with Tekken, are you now, right? If you're a Walking Dead fan, you weren't keeping up with Tekken, are you like, oh? Uh, or do you think perhaps this is a shameless cross-promotion, right? That's cool, too. You can think that. Uh, I just think that it's always fun to have a weird character in there. Although, the one sad thing that I will admit, I don't want to put a damper on this, but I, I do have to admit, the one worrying thing is, what about the future? Because of course, if uh, Tekken, unless there were, it was in the contract, if Tekken Seven ever gets re-released, probably not going to get Negan. We'd get all the other DLC characters, but probably not going to get Negan. But other than that, though, other than that sad thing, maybe you disagree with me. Tell me what you think down below. Other than that, though, I want to get this game real bad. So. Yeah, this is going to be my eternal struggle of wanting to get Tekken 7 and not being able to. Or maybe getting it right after this podcast is over. We'll find out. 